Seven. Two. Oof. Fuck you. Oh. I can't. My mic will not pick me up. No matter how loud I get. You, you peaked. You were like, up. Oh. On my end, I'm sitting here watching. I went to like, I went to a specific point and it wouldn't go past that. So, all right, everybody, welcome back to No Good Win. I am uh, joined today. Dale's doing Dale stuff, and Will's still off in the Middle East. No, what I say, he's on the, he's in South North. Will's somewhere in the middle South North. So, I'm joined today by two of my buddies. I got Danger. Say hello, Virus. Hello, hello. And I got my buddy Virus. Say hi, Danger. Hello. How are you guys today? Pretty good. Good, good. Guys, I'm in a really weird mood. I've been in a mood for PlayStation 2 like this past these past two weeks. Like, yeah. You get like that sense of nostalgia recently. I don't know why. I found a YouTube channel where I can binge watch like full Let's Plays of old games like Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, Ben 10 Alien Force, um, it's like all these old, like Madagascar, all these old PlayStation 2 mo games I used to play. Huh? Didn't they remake that Spongebob game or like remaster it? Yeah, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I love it. I played it. I beat it. <laughs> I played the original Rehydrated. It was fun. It's not Rehydrated. It's original Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh. Oh, for Sorry. Sorry. God, you I'll fake sponge fuck you know fan. They were thirsty the first time. Now they're rehydrated. <laughs> water! I don't, don't need you it. live in water? But anyway, I'm now... Well, they didn't at that moment. They were um in Sandy Street. Um, anyway, I'm now right now. I went to Amazon and I bought two Jimmy Neutron games for PlayStation 2. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, I got Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, which goes off the movie, and Jimmy Neutron Attack of the Twonkies. I'm gonna be streaming through them on my YouTube channel in the next two weeks, which I'm super excited for, because my PlayStation nice. 2 can finally get rid of its dust. But we're not here to talk about nostalgic games, guys. I don't know why you got me on this topic. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking about how I was really getting into Wii, and that's how we got into the subject. Yeah. <laughs> The Wii, you know, I God, really miss the it. Wii. The Wii was Man, such a on. The Wii was a weird console, honestly. It was a good no, one. Dude, Never. I, I will get super defensive right now. Don't you dare. No, no, I'm saying it's a good console, but it's also it was a weird console. Man, I miss the Wii, bro. That that was that was my childhood. PlayStation Two. That's what I grew up with till I was like fourteen. Then I went. Here's how it went. Mine went. Mine went from Nintendo up until I was four. Then it went from PlayStation 2 up until I was 12. Then until I was, uh, no, 10. Then until I was 12, I was Xbox 360. And then from 14, the 13 on was um, PlayStation 4. Mm. And, my gen and my old girl still all behind me, gathering dust, screaming in pain every time I play something made after 2015. But since we're talking about all this old stuff, 2015, we're going to talk about Doken's events, like our favorite Doken events. And for people out yeah. there that don't know what we mean, I mean like, say if it's SBR or um, Boss Rush or just boring quests like story mode, we're just going to be talking about that kind of stuff. And to get us started, who sent me a message? Who sent me a message on Discord? Somebody did something. Oh, it's dangerous thing on Discord. Okay. Danger has a Discord. We're not gonna shout out Danger. But anybody. Hey, anybody. What? <laughs> but so since he hasn't been here in a hot minute, fire. So why don't you get us started? Uh, man, when was the last time I was here? When That's was a the very last good question. Was... I think the last time you were here was maybe my joke and who. <laughs> Oh, yeah, when I hosted one of those, I forgot about that. Yeah, you and Toasty uh, were, and you were just sitting there bitching about... Not bitching, just trying to so, hark on me. So just naming favorite events just out of anything here, right? Yeah, well, it's like a normal setup where it's like got our, five, our top five favorite events, why you like it so much. And maybe a memory. Add a favorite memory of it. All right, well, see, since I started seeing Dokkan on a newer light, a number five, I would really like to put that hidden potential orb grinding event, the one that has all five of them daily, that's awesome. Because you get to that point in the game where you realize, damn, 
it's not easy to get potential orbs and you start trying to grind and you realize it's kind of hard when it's Monday is AGL day, Tuesday is tech day, Wednesday is in day. But now with the anniversary out, I really miss that event where it's like five potentials in one day. So the growth event. The growth event's a good one. I Honestly, that was my number five. Because really? mine's more just a hidden potential in general, so I was going to count all of it because as an older player, like a much older player, hidden potential orbs being added was a very good thing. Especially this one right here where it's all five in one day because I didn't complete all of them when they came out. I forgot when they came out a few months ago. And then it left. I'm like, uh-oh. And I'm over here scraping up with like 2,000 STR medium orbs. I'm like, I can't do shit, bro. God, strength orbs. I swear, strength and intelligence orbs, for whatever reason, I have like such a low number of them. I know, right? Maybe it's because they should stop releasing strength units. Nah, we don't have enough strength units. Give us five more before my birthday. <laughs> Dual Dokkan Fest, double strength. I've noticed, like, the past year, there's been a lot of tech units. Yeah. Like, from now to a year, like, for, yeah, so basically, fifth anniversary, or no, sixth anniversary to now, it's been a lot of techs. Yeah. Not sure why. With it's what? not a bad thing. LRs? Interesting. Weren't there two LRs? Two LRs plus some um, Kaling Cauliflower, God Trunks, just a, like releases in the last year. Yeah, you're right. And then um, is it what Super Saiyan three, Super Saiyan three or Boo? Which one of those were tech? Boo. None of those. It was physical. Boo was tech. Right? Okay, it was Boo. No, he's being in the exchange yeah. Boo. Or transformation Boo. Oh, okay. Well, no, no, no. That was before. That was before. That was not within the last year. Boo. I was talking about. I was talking about the new, the new oh. Goku and Boo. Oh yeah, there's strength and fizz. Yeah, they're strange. Oh, okay. I, th I thought one of those. I thought that Goku or Boo were tech, huh? No. no, 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 no. All right. And we just got two Texas anniversary with the Tech God Bros and Texan. Yeah. And tech and tech uh, hybrids. And we're also going to be getting Tech LR Vegeta. Yeah, oh, a lot cool. of techs. Yep. And we're getting some tech EZAs. God, tech. Yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> you know why uh, they're trying to make what? everybody green with envy <laughs> ah funny all right you need to stop him tell us your number five yeah danger number five uh i'll i'll, I'll i feel like this is just like a throwaway but i really love the new God event, like not the, not the God event, but the new Dokkan event, the gods, because at the end they have the Blizzard theme. Just really? playing the event. Yeah, and then on the and on on the um uh, the GT one, uh they have the uh uh the song from uh, GT. God, what, what was the song? Don Don Goku. I don't remember the song. But yeah, they play the copyright. They play like two copyrighted songs at the end of the event. So uh, be careful. You're for kidding. That. You're kidding. Yeah. No, no. yeah. Don't stream. You will get copyrighted. Uh, you know yeah. what? Fuck it. Uh, fuck it. All right. Yeah, they play it like they, at the very at the very last level when it's Gogeta and then when they're both blue. <laughs> yeah, it's Dokkan. <laughs> I'm playing Dokkan right now, but you don't hear my theme, bro. That's mine. Oh, yeah, they played it. The... Super Saiyan yeah. 4 Goku music. No, I'm in the yeah, um the Blue Bros. Or God Bros. I know yeah, that's at the very, at the, at the very end. They, they play the Blizzard thing. You're kidding. I'm going to hear this out. You're gonna fight yeah, them. Yeah. You're just gonna fucking Soviet just out of nowhere. Yeah, I know, dude. I love it, bro. I love the song. You're gonna hear it'll it. It'll also. Have, you know how Broly has a red zone coming out? It's also gonna play in Broly's red zone. No! Right, it is. God, yeah. it almost makes me want to keep background that. music on. I, I, I do too, but I do it. I play it off camera. I don't know um, when the part three, well, not part three, when the part two LRs come out, the Kaioken, Goku, and Vegeta, they're going to have Chala, Hechala as the menu music. Chala, Hechala. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like it's kind of a throwaway, but I just love the music and I oh, love the fair. stage. And it's like, dude, I was like, I love seeing the amazing animations as I'm getting my ass beat by the events, oh, even though they do like no damage. <laughs> but it's like, it's like, I'm losing, but it, well, I'm not losing, but it's like, I'm getting beaten and I have to sit through these you animations, but they're so title. cool, dude. I love the gods animation compared to the Super Saiyan 4s. Not that they're bad, it's just I have a bias oh, the towards the gods. Like, 
Yeah, I have a bias towards the gods. Like, he, here's the thing. The best animation would be if it was the Super Saiyan 4 transformations and the theme, like, if their animation was in the theme style of the gods, but it's not, so... The gods are just better. I love it. I love, like, the crispy crimson, bro. It's so good. Crispy crimson. Can, uh, the, can we just call them the crispy crimson, um, bros? <laughs> crispy crimson, bros. Yes, I am going to trademark that name. Yeah, I developed that name just now. It is mine. But it's on Doken Win, meaning it's owned by me. I can't... Owned Damn. by you, created by me. No. Made by me, nope. created yeah, by yeah, me. So... Hayden decides everything. Nope, it... Fuck you, my you show. You don't have the editing skills. Don't yes, have it. You don't have the editing skills. Yeah, I do! You don't think I can edit I this stuff? I can screw around with it. I can put a bleep over you. <laughs> I'm very tempted to summon again, but I'm also tempted to just hold on so I can do another video. I bought the ticket packs as a joke, and I pulled a dupe of the gods. I need to get nice. to. I'm, I'm getting paid in six days, and I'm gonna buy some stones. Anyway, so am I gonna go for mine? <laughs> yep. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah, I told you. I, that's why I love it. I feel like it's a throw. It's it's kind of a throwaway because that's like the only reason. But also, the animations are so good. Like you're getting beaten by the gods with their great animation. I never knew that. So it's like. If you get super attacked, you're seeing the great animation, plus the music's just fire, so I love it. We're picking it up. I don't think so. Oh, it's not. No, I don't hear it. I mean, probably for the best. Well, it is Spotify, so I mean, you'd be fine. If you play it for like two seconds. It's the still. actual song! Holy hell! <laughs> you think, so it was it was playing the, um, Kache Daze, like, I, you know, all my Legends videos. It was playing Contra Daze, but it didn't. I didn't get copyright checked. I think it's because it was like quiet and I was talking over it, so yeah. you can still hear okay. it. But it was only for like a few. You're not seconds, sitting there, like, letting the music play quietly. You're fine, but if you're talking over it, you're good. Oh, yeah, like I'm just, I was talking over it, and it was only on for a few seconds, so I was fine. Oh, here's yeah, Legends is doesn't have a lot. They have Kachi Daze. They have Chala Ch 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 Head Chala. They be using all the songs. Chala Head Chala. Yeah, I don't think you guys heard it, but I actually just had it sitting here playing for like a I solid minute. I heard it barely. Yeah, <laughs> told you. That's why I love it. Okay, so am I good to go for mine? Oh, the super attack animations. They're super attacking. I know. They're super attacking the it's LR like Blue Bros. They super attack you, but it's like the the animation's so good. It's, a quick question so for you like, guys. Do you like do you like the Japanese or the dub? Uh, I'd have to listen to both. Of what? Of the a Blizzard? Blizzard. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. The, well, not the song. Of the new LRs that just came out. Do you prefer the dub of their actives? Oh, the, the voice song? acting. I, I prefer the English. Yeah, I grew up with dub, so I'm going to say dub. Sub's not... Yeah, I grew up with dub. Sub's not terrible, but dub just feels more at home. Exactly. I love I love Sean Schemmel and um, Chris Sabat, bro. I love them so much. Sean Shockwave? Sean Shockwave. <laughs> It's funny, um, Toon Rami's making dude, when he played his Wukong, bro, that was the coolest thing. Uh, the and then Chris Wukong Sorbet. So Chris <laughs> Sorbet. <laughs> I hope they listen. I hope they're just randomly, Hey, look, Doken, I put voices I in this. His face on it. They're gonna but love that. Out of Dokkan battle. I'm gonna use their likeness, they're gonna sue me. How dare you use my likeness? Hey, it's flattering. No, it's not! I thought it was flattering. That's all that matters. Or am I gonna go to mine? I've been sitting here just- we've been sitting here chatting. You're, you've been good. We're waiting for you to go. Alright, my number five. I'm gonna go with old, oldie but goldie, um, Prime Battles. Really? Oh, I- I know. <laughs> I- I'm one of the very few people out there that actually enjoys Prime Battles because, one, it gives you, like, three or four... If you're not a super hard-going player, like, I'm not one of those ones that literally sits down and gets it done in an hour. I get... I spend, yeah, no, not, not Prime Battles. I do it in two or three days. But I'll go... Just two or three days. Yeah. yeah, just two or three days. Still. But I like doing the prime battles because back in my day, I'm gonna say this because I'm older than both of these two in both literal and Doken sense. Prime battles were such a different level of challenge. It is to players back in my day. Prime battles is what Red Zone is for players now. We should have a we should have a back in my day counter because that's literally the like sixth time you said that. <laughs> Third, thank you. 
played around before Int Gohan was released. I've been around. It's just this uh, this account has not. I've been around. Mike, I joined after second year, so yeah. You've been around since before you are was the thing. I don't know. I don't know. You're the oldest one here. I've been around since before Delkin Fests were a thing. Before they yeah, but I joined. I joined definitely after first and, and second Annie. I just don't know if I joined before or after third. Anyway, but I like the prime battles. The units, the nowadays, if you don't have them easy aid, aren't as good. But uh, they were just a new type of thing because the first LRs in the game were prime battles, which I originally thought I prime battles were going to be stuck as a free to play, hard to grind thing, not a summonable thing that we have now that we get once every three or four months. Not complaining, but I just I like the prime battle aspect because of the challenge that it used to give. And it's just fun memories of trying to beat it, and then whenever you finally beat it, like the original Super Saiyan Goku, whenever you find you could only beat him with strike event units, because that's all the free to play that was out. And then you finally beat him, it was such a good satisfaction of victory. Like whenever a player beats Red Zone, or the ones who could finally beat God Event, or some SBR, you finally get it beat. It's just such a good satisfaction. And I love Cry Battle for it. Every Dokkan player has that sense of victory that they're always working towards. Exactly. Like, this is probably, like, I think this was definitely one of the most intimidating things, seeing it for the first time. Like, no continues allowed. Only characters recruited from events and quests can be included to your team. And then with, like, how much um, stamina it takes. Like, at that and time, I'm sure this was definitely exactly one of the seven. most intimidating no events to see. With no boost? Yeah. Boosts weren't even a thing. Boosts weren't even thought of. Anyway. Like, one thing is, like, I used the free, I used the year five free-to-play gods, um, the Goku and Vegeta coats. Peasant. And it's like, oh. these, those, those don't, those didn't exist when these came out. Those didn't exist when these came out. So you had to have, like, older free-to-play events, like event and quest yeah, characters. Events, the strike events. That's what the strategy was. You have to use the strike event characters. Yep. Mm -hmm. King Vegeta. So many memories. Man, he just I know! I'm so excited. Alright, oh, back to you, Virus. Alright, well, since you were talking about your whole sense of victory, driving, and all that, that brings me back to this. It's not as great anymore, and I'll say that because it's not much of a challenge anymore, but when it first came out, it was so much fun to go through all of Super Battle Road, where you yeah. had to think about the typings to do, you had to think about the category teams to use. It was great. Nowadays, though, we can just walk through Super Battle Road like a cakewalk. It's fine. But, like, back when it first came out, God, that was so much fun. And it was such and a it was so rewarding. Five stones each. You get this trophy where you can get tons of Kais. <laughs> Someone out there, ugh, five stones. That's not rewarding. That used to be back then. Back in my day, you'd get one stone for events. <laughs> yeah, literally. God, Super no, Battle Road. Super Battle. Just the nostalgia of it first coming out, too. Just looking back on that, that was so much fun. Yeah, it was. And then whenever... Because I remember when it first came out... Uh, that, this is back whenever I was in high school. I stayed up to like 4 in the morning, beating all the ones I could. And sir, you want to talk about fucking finagling? I think I had um, Easy A Broly as my lead, STR Easy A OG Broly, and I beat yeah. Extreme Strength with him, and it was such a fucking challenge. It was. That really showed, like, everyone was just, like, trying to treat it as a cakewalk, but man, when you got punched for 70k, everybody freaked out. Yeah, when it only was... had 100,000 HP. Yep, every, that's when everybody realized, wait, we gotta play it differently. We actually have to use things. <laughs> we have to use strats. What? Uh, what? What? No. <laughs> God, SBR. I'm ready for them to release like another level beyond SBR. <laughs> Ultra Super Battle Road. <laughs> well, I'm thinking like True Battle Road, not Super Battle Road. True Battle Road. It'll be like a Red Zone level enemies. No, I'll do like freaking like Dragon Ball Super Superheroes, Super Battle Road, Battle Road. 
<laughs> Dragon Ball Super 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 Battle Road. Dragon Ball Super Super Battle Road. Oh, they would do that too. <laughs> Dragon Ball Super Super Battle Road. Just hear Sean Schemmel announcing that to your ear. <laughs> no, we need it'd be have to be um uh what's her name? She vo Bulma's voice actress. I'd have to hear that in Dragon Ball Super Super Battle Road. What was her name again? Monica fucking something? I don't know. Or we can get Broly. That'd be the best thing. <laughs> Super Battle Road. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Bro, I'd get so thrown off. I'd be violently uncomfortable. <laughs> you know, uh, you know players would be horrified if that's what was greeting them with Broly's voice saying, I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> Uh, so, in danger, what's your number four? God, Bondi, do that. I'm a bit, I know what my number one is. I'm trying to think what my number four is. God, so unprofessional. So I feel like number four, here's the thing, this is fun, but I feel like between the three of these, this one's been the most difficult for me. The, the Goku GT event. Okay. But I, I've had more problems with this than the Legendary Vegeta event, and it's always the Great Ape Goku, and I feel like if you get a team to survive past Great Ape Goku, and then go on to beat the event still with enough health and attack, I feel like that means it's a pretty solid team. I don't know why. People are like, because yes, the Vegeta does, like, is he's pretty tanky. Right, he's definitely more tanking than the Goku GT event, but it's like Goku, he has the less Great Ape stage. He does so much damage. Yeah, like it, it basically, it's like if you have a team, like I feel like that's definitely like, can you get past this? This is like fighting Vegeta, like AGL Vegeta on the Vegeta event immediately. Can you get past this? And then it gets kind of easier from there, kinda. Yeah, the Goku. Just, so, just so much so damage. Virus, wasn't it you and I the ones who actually had an argument with somebody in the Discord over what was tougher, the Vegeta event and the GT event? Uh, yeah, and I, I hope you still remember the answer to that. Well, it's GT Goku is actually the harder event. The only reason Vegeta yeah. event has any more challenges is because he lowers defense. You get rid of that, then Great Ape Goku is actually on par with um, Vegeta. The Great Ape Goku Even just if hits... The wiki, it shows legend their has it, it. Legend has it on the 8th year anniversary. We'll have the Fighting Legend Vegeta GT edition. Oh my god. Could you imagine? <laughs> like, it's just it's the going power. To be it's the tankiness of Vegito, of Legendary Vegeta event, the offense of Super Saiyan 4, but then it greatly lowers defense on Supers. All Supers. Oh my gosh. They'll <laughs> do it. They'll definitely do it. Vegeta deserves to have that type of event, man. I hope he does. Oh uh, my gosh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, out. But yeah, I gotta say, the GT event, solely because of how much pain it's brought me from like, trying to beat the missions and with teams, but also that just goes to show it's like a fun event, just challenging you. The Vegeta event yeah. just put a team together. Yeah, you can go, and people out there, if you don't believe that's true, um, you can go watch, because I just uploaded a video, it'll be actually up yesterday, of me beating the Vegeta event with the Bond of Master and Disciple team. So, yeah. Yeah. I almost got killed. In the final phase, I got supered and then survived with 6,000 HP. I was horrified. <laughs> huh. So annoying. Am I good for my next? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna throw everybody for a loop, because I think people forget this event exists. It is Doken Speed Battle. Ah, uh, yeah, you did like that. I remember that. <laughs> it's I like how it baits you, though, thinking you could win Dragon Stones. Couldn't you? I can't. Couldn't you get Dragon Stones from it? I don't think so, no. You can only get uh, Dragon Stones from clearing the stage, but not from being the fastest. Yeah. But then, but. One, there's multiple reasons I like this one. First off is you can go back and run with old leads that you can't fuck around with anymore. Which, I'm very sad that you can't do this more. Like, they don't have this set. Like, right now, I'm looking. They have all the... <laughs> this goes back. The The newest leads that are on here are the Super Saiyan 4s. The AGL and STR Goku and Vegeta. 
Damn. <laughs> but so basically, I, they have all the OG 120s. No, no. They have two 120s. They have the 70 percents. Oh, that's right. They were the first of the 120s. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, they were year two. But I like this because back in high school, my buddies and I who played this would always try to see who could beat it the fastest. So, fastest. so whenever we won, it was such a fun thing. It's like, ha, I went and beat this faster than you. God, it's showing a, uh, a non-EZA Vegito Blue. I'm looking at it, and he's such ass. But anyway... It was such a fun event to do with your friends because that's this is what racing truly used to be. Is you didn't go on. This was when time was first implemented into thing. This you beat it in this time limit. This the time battle was a fun thing because you could race and be like, hey, I beat all these bosses in three minutes thirty eight seconds. How about you? I beat it in three minutes thirty seven seconds. Though you may have finished faster, my event was I beat it quicker, so that means I win. As opposed to, let's say, if Danger and I raced, let's say if I had it sat there for 10 minutes prior, sitting in the first phase, which takes those 10 minutes off, we'd race, but then whoever gets there sooner would win. I just like the time battle, be the speed battle, because of the actual race aspect, and that, and whenever it first came out, I thought it was going to be like a rank thing, like a ranked worldwide, of how fast you could beat it. Like, who's the fastest one to beat the game? And so I sat there getting all hyped with my freaking super, with my original AGL Vegito team. Like, just deep breathing. Who? 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 I got this. I'm gonna be the fastest one there is. Who? <laughs> I wasn't the fastest one there is. But I had fun with it, and that's all that matters. I wish they would bring it back. Because like, oh, I know they're revamping. Like, I know they're revamping story mode. Maybe they could bring it back and maybe, like, every, like, month or so, at the end of the month, whoever's, like, top five fastest, they reward, like, I don't know, 30 Dragonstones or, or less. Well, yeah. what, what I was but, thinking how I could do it is um, the faster you beat it, the better the rewards. Like, in Ultimate Clash... Yeah, well, maybe they do a placement system, like how Chain Battle, there's a placement system, yeah. like, if you're in this bracket. I, I see them doing something like that. Beat it in under two minutes. Get yourself a hundred dragon stones. But there's forty five bosses. We know. Still beat it in under two minutes. Get a hundred dragon stones. It's there. It <laughs> makes it. It's like we we'd have to wait like five years to get these roars. Well, you better fund us for five years then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a Xeno unit, and what it does is it I just guess. obliterates the entire rot obliterates the entire That's thing. I that here's the thing. I can see that as like a farewell Zocon. And you can try to get a free to play Xeno unit that just obliterates every level in the game. No, what? Like, it's, it's just a fa farewell Xeno unit. It's because Dokkan's shutting down and, like, God, in that's yeah, sad. It's a mod like that, except there was a lotion bottle. It's a C. It's a, 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 they released Bye Guys Goku. They released a new Sia Goku. They released just many free to play event units. They give everyone like uh, they get they they release a banner that has every unit in the game on it, but it's like set to categories, and so you can summon whatever you want with like free one thousand. It's like this is it. Like we're shutting down. Try to complete your collection. I hope what Dokkan does is that like if they do ever shut down, you can still see your collection. I hope they allow that. I hope that you can still see your collection. The gang's all here. Oh. Okay. Like, you know how when you have no Wi-Fi, you can't play events, but you can still see your box? Like, I want that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can download the game and keep the game, and it's like... God, we're, and... we're getting sad! We're not supposed to be sad! <laughs> Dokkan's still going strong, <laughs> damn it! Two years. Yeah, Dokkan's still got a few years. I, I doubt it's anytime soon. Fuck you, Danger. Fuck you for making me sad. <laughs> Virus! My number three now, right? Yes! And out of pure nostalgia again. No, it's not legendary Goku. This event used to piss me off. It was when Int Ultra Instinct finally got his <laughs> Dokkan Awakening. That event, and oh. nobody, could, nobody could beat it until the year <laughs> three hours came out. But I'm sure you all remember the fucking toughness of that event. Yep. You finally made the master just to get smacked. I I was actually there for that time, so I mm -hmm. but I do believe it was still my first account that Goku was released, and I tried to beat it. I was unable to beat it, and I had units that were like good at that time, 
and I still was on. I was like, "You've got to be kidding me!" And I was I was upset, dude, because I, I I had a UI Goku when he released for the first time. So I like an OG UI Goku. Same. But like, uh, I, I lost that account, man. Lost it. It's gone in the wind. The only way I beat it is when year three came around. I single summoned into LR Vegito, and for some reason, he made it so easy. Nice. That yeah, stupid spirit still... bomb phase. Yeah, we just ghost usher is all you can do. Now. Yeah, bro. Everybody remembers that yeah. first time. It's like, oh yeah, it's just a spirit bomb. Three million. Or it's like three. um, uh, Super Saiyan three Angel Goku. Whenever he had the countdown. So I tested the gods, even with so the new gods, even with the double god lead on rotation with themselves, they still take one million damage. Yeah. They still Damn. can't even even the gods with double double lead set together good team with like a six hundred thousand HP still cannot take it still take four hundred thousand extra damage. I mean, you they, have to go special that event or, they, or or have to or like attack first. One thing is like the androids. So the AGL androids, I still only have them as a 10, I believe. And they like just two shot the event. I will tell you. So if they were if they were twenty five, they probably one shot it. It is technically possible to survive that event. It's very very hard to, but it is technically possible. I've just yet to seen. It. I'm not saying it's not possible. I've just yet to seen it. Mathematically, it is possible, and it only can work in one of it can work in one specific way. You have to have hmm. two units that greatly lower attack super double super first, and then you have to have AGL Frieza tank the attack. You can you only take around four hundred eighty thousand damage. Okay, yeah, but problem is is that most units will just kill him, like before they'd actually take that damage. Like at, at this point, most units would just kill him. I'm just saying that's that's the uh, right way to actually survive that. A way to survive yeah. it. Either that, you could just pop a Whis and then put Super Saiyan three Vegeta in there. Oh no, you'd still get hit for too much damage. Yeah. I think I survived it. Maybe I popped two Weezes, I don't know. Yeah, two Weezes would make sense. Two Weezes, probably. The one... I haven't been in them in years. The one time I will say I did actually survive it was back when the glitch was around. I did the glitch twice with AGL, <laughs> AGL Golden Freeze. I still took a thousand damage. A thousand? Yep. God, the airplane glitch. Yep. Memories, everybody! That was a whole era. It was a whole two-week era. Here's a funny thing. Here's exactly what it is. You know somebody out there figured that out early. They just never said shit. And they're just sitting there for years. Like, fuck you. I got the glitch. And nobody ever knew. Ah, but yeah, glad to see y'all remember that. Right when I said in UI, I heard Danger just like, ah. Wait. I didn't. I don't remember having yeah. a whole lot of problem with him. Is the funny thing. Jeez, no, man. It was impossible to beat. I remember that. Like, here's the thing. Out of every Dokkan experience, that was the very first time I was like, a dude, this is just impossible. Like, every other time, I was like, okay, I know I can't beat this event because I just don't have the right card. You know, I, I could probably beat it later on. It was like, okay, well, I mean, this, these events are hard, but just because I don't have any good units, yet. I had good units. The new unit. Like, I, I, I was good to go, bro. I had, like, what was one of the best teams in the game at the time. And, like, I just couldn't beat it. I've tried. I tried using some items. Just nothing worked. Sir, nothing worked. Sir, there are three words that I must tell you that'll help you, that'll help everybody get go through their life. <clears throat> three very simple words. Do you know what those words are? No. What did it, what did it? Get good, scrub. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Danger, it's yeah, okay. on to you. Okay, this one, we actually talked... We literally just talked about this right before recording. The collection of epic battles. Yeah. I, yeah. I, so it's basically a mixture of, like... Super super battle road plus the Goku event. It's like stages of different. It's like four different battles plus their hard battles, and then the last one goes into like stages of waves. Like it's like a fusion of super battle road and Goku. And here's the thing. So I was talking with him about this, and the problem is this seems to be true. This might be the case. As you see on the event, currently we only have the Goku and Frieza, but there's also like Cell, Saiyan Saga, Vegeta, Boo. 
with us coming up on the worldwide, this may be an event that will only update every worldwide event. Maybe because here's the thing with the, with it being collection of epic battles and uh, it being almost a year with us not getting an update to this event, it's themed with mul it's not Goku versus Frieza collection. It's not like Goku versus Frieza events. It's not like you know, no. it's not legendary Goku Frieza event. That's not what it is. It's mm -hmm. it is the collection of epic battles, it's fierce mm -hmm. battles from um two perspectives. So that means they're probably going to update it over time, and probably this worldwide, we're going to get one here, one super, one extreme, and it's going to be depicted in two-stage events. So we'll get level three and level four during worldwide. Hayden doesn't like the idea because he wishes it'd get updated more, but it's yeah. almost we're 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 almost to worldwide, and it's still yet to get an update. So I think really that's cool what's going to happen. Saying that a worldwide might be a superhero themed, it might be like so a if it's on. super. If it's it might have like hero, a red dragon on the stage, and it might have that would be effect. interesting. Yeah, we get a superhero theme, um, uh, collection of epic battles. I still have yet to see the movie. I would movie. love to see like, like you could start with like Officer Black and move all the way up to Gamma One and Two, like fighting them. Like that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be cool. Oh yeah, I I I do wish it was updated more. If it really is a once a year thing, that kind of sucks. But I yeah, I do hope. Nice. We in there because that that gave you man, like that gave me like a little fun bit i remember i underestimated the ginyu force i was like oh i'll be fine i started getting yeah. hit and was, wait 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 the famous last words every time that i yeah when i first played it no i'll be fine <laughs> famous last words yeah like the punisher wait 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 oh screen crack Damn. oh are you summoning no how screen dare crack. you you summoning how dare! I thought we were gonna single summon at the end. How dare! Uh, I didn't you? get shit anyway. Don't worry. Nope. <laughs> I want to summon so badly, dude. But the problem is, is I know I'm pro not only am I gonna get, I'm either gonna get nothing, waste of stones, or get something, and I'm not streaming. <sighs> I hate, I hate RNG. You know what? What if I do a multi right now and I get something better? What did you get? Uh, I got three SSRs. Anyway, my next one. It's Infinite Dragon yep. Ball History. <laughs> I love the event so much. You know it's what? so much I'm fun. Gonna... Screw it, I'm gonna do a multi, I'm summoning. So go ahead and do give your explanation. Infinite Dragon Ball History is such a fun event because when you first take it on, you don't realize it's as tough as it is. And then whenever you get to like the third, depending on the one, like whenever I first fought it, I did the super one against the Z Fighters, and it was like, oh, this isn't hard. I made it to Gohan, then I got my ass beat. And then the androids. They add a whole bunch of different aspects to it that makes it really fun to fuck around with. Because they add, like, disables dodging. They add key absorption and healing mechanics. They add one that supers, uh, seal super every time. We have one that supers all, uh, only supers. It just adds a whole bunch of stuff, and it's just a longer, fun fight. The rewards are fun too, but it's just fun to be taking on that multitude of enemies that you that just continually get harder or sometimes get hard way early on, like the Goku family one. You take on base Goku, that base Goku is the hardest one in the entire fight. And that's like third or fourth fight in, which makes it fun because you don't know what you're expecting. I want them to do something like that, but instead but literally make it an infinite fight. Like, it starts, I think it was, um, I can't remember, maybe it was me saying that, I can't remember, it was one of our episodes, we talked about World Tournament revamping it and make it just a continuous boss fight. Almost like Epic. Like, like the Cybermen thing? Huh? Like the Cybermen from Raditz's event, where it felt infinite? Yeah. And they just yeah, kept getting, really cool. and it just keeps like getting Extreme harder. Z battle, like Extreme Z battle, but just keeps going. But it's a, yeah, it's like a different boss each time. Like what I thought was World Tournament, that way they could revamp it and have the first boss, and then let's say ten phases in, here's an LR. The uh, the difficulty ramps up quite a bit. The other ten fights, then another LR, and it goes all the way until they run out of units, and then it just continues. But it just like different levels of it. Let's say level one, they get up to like say strength wise level thirty of an easy A. Then you go through phase two of it. Then it goes to like level one hundred and just goes harder and harder. I want them to do something like this, where it's literally a never ending battle, and the bosses are sitting there with let's say forty five, let's say a tr one billion HP. 
or a trillion HP, something like that, and it just gets harder and harder, and they just keep hitting with higher and higher numbers. Some stacking units could have a sh like a the time of their life in that event. And other players could sit there and be like, okay, this is actually possible, like stacking units. They stack for 99 turns. What time are you ever going to see 99 turns, realistically? Like, I think I beat the Vegeta event in 30 turns. But imagine a longer event with infinite history, like a true infinite history. That is just infinite. And you just, by the time you're done, you just, all right, I can't, I give up, or you get killed. But I like infinite history because the multitude of things they can do with it, because it just adds multitudes of different ways to fight. Like, they have movie Broly, then you have pure Saiyans. Let's actually go look at all of them. Infinite history is where, 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 there it is. Yeah, Cell Saga, you have giant eight power. Participants of the 25th World Tournament use that a multitude of things that makes world, the infinite Dragon Ball history very, very fun. Which is why it's my uh, third? Yeah, third. All right. Virus. Well, you basically kind of said it, but second place would have to go to infinite Dragon Ball history for me as well. Bada -bing, bada -bing. Mainly, it's growing on me because I miss that they don't do this anymore. But when Year 5 came out, they came out with the stage, I think, versus Dragon Ball Super Broly. And you finally got to fight Gogeta. No, this is before the LRs came out for the anniversary. And you got to hear the new theme song. And it threw a, a lot of my friends off as well because they were like, whoa, whose song is this? I miss that, like, that sense of like teasing with it, like showing off the new song or maybe they could like slip in an animation like that you didn't even know was part of the LR, something like that. I miss that they used to do that with Infinite Dragon Ball History, but now they don't. But that's kind of why too. I also love this, you know, Free Stones and it felt like a little adventure through that song. It was just fun. Doken used to be extremely fun. Now it's just really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody out there is going to be like, where the fuck do you play it? Because it's still fun, damn it! It's just not as fun as it once was. It's forever fun. You can have forever fun, but it'd be forever is not fun as it once forever was. Anyway, danger. <laughs> What's your number yes. two? Yes. <laughs> what a coincidence. Mine is also Dragon Ball Infinite. <laughs> Oh, is it really? Wow. It's a full circle of Dragon... Yeah, so, actually, and this is actually recent of it. So, I like, okay, I've been playing Dragon Ball Infinite History, and it's pretty fun, right? Trying to play with different teams and whatnot, but I feel like with Dragon Ball Infinite History, you can actually, like, I literally took in one of the strongest teams I could make with the new gods, and it still took a while to beat. You could see the type of stats and numbers they're able to pool, like... They get a. Ch they're not just one shotting everything or slow like with Dragon Ball Infinite History. I also love the OSTs and stuff, but you're allowed to get rotations that you're wanting. You're able to build up your attacks. You're able to get numbers. It's not just a really quick event or a super hard event either. Like it's difficult, you know, but you can easily no item it. You can easily no item the event. But also, it's like, you better be careful, though, because then you can also easily lose the event. So it's like, it's just one of those very fun events that new and old players can just jump into. Exactly. I yeah, y'all, I literally don't even need to say much. Y'all gave the explanation. It was the <laughs> third time in a row, Dragon Ball Infinite History. God, that makes me really wondering about my, fi my final two. <laughs> my well, final one is... Yeah, tired. your second one now. Well, my number two is the um, <clears throat> the original challenge of the game, Boss Rush. Oh. Uh, boss Rush. The one that's just, hey, we update this every now and then, have free 30 stones. 35. 35. 35, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, you got Now, it. five stones, anything. Hey, hey. When it's five stones by itself, it's shit. But if it's 35, then it's a difference. <clears throat> Ooh. But, um, I, I, like I've said before, I've been playing this Doken for a very long time. And when Boss Rush was first introduced, it was the hardest thing in the game. You I'm could. I'm very disappointed. Huh? 
I'm very disappointed that you didn't say it. Say what? The four letter thing or four word thing that you always say whenever you're talking about the past. Oh, back in my day. There you go. Back in my day, boss rush was. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Back in the day, boss rush was the hardest thing. This was before year two. And it was so hard to beat. The first two phases, or hell, even the first three phases, of events of it, parts of it, where you go take on the original five Z-Hards, the original uh, five Doken Vests. <clears throat> then you go take on the original ten Doken Vests, then they hop into the super Doken Vests. Weren't that bad. But then you hop into phase four, stage four, where you take on all the supers that were Kaioken Blue up to uh, Sword of Hope Trunks. It was such a hard challenge. It was fun. You literally had to be so strategic because the teams back then were not fully capable. Even like multiple dupe teams, like rainbowed out teams, could would still barely survive until year two came around with the one twenties. Oh, so used to surviving one Dokkan event, but not five at once, or even fifteen. Yeah, I, I'm you're really right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Roger. Yeah, I really want them to do a boss rush that's all the bosses on, like, Super 5. Like, it's literally, they buff them all up to modern-day Dokken events. Like, Honestly, that sounds like an amazing idea. Yeah, it does. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Old Dokken players, hear my call. Could you imagine STR Broly being a challenge again? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody out there just sweat profusely. They look off into the horizon. Oh shit! I, I no. that, <laughs> they get out their sword and shield. They bring out their tech guldos again. Yes, it's time. <laughs> People out there, you may not understand that, but there's a tech guldo which made OG SGR Broly eat possible to beat without the without the specific SSRs. Yeah. But boss rush. You cannot think of a challenge thing in boss. Nowadays, it's not a challenge because people have these categories that can go beat it effortlessly. <clears throat> even some of the, uh, like, hell, even some 120s now can go beat them close to effortlessly. <clears throat> but when it first came out, boss rush was such a hard event. It was so that hard. Was so back then, yeah, I remember it being something. It was, and I once bitched about it, about the fact of, I've talked power creep, believe it or not, people, I've talked power creep and Doken since, bef since year two of Doken, because I were, because I talked prior about the boss rush, boss rush is the hardest thing in the game, then they released the 120s, it's too easy, yeah, it's called power creep, they want people to be able to beat their stuff. Yeah, they want people to be able to beat it, but also have a challenge. If you just throw something out there and they beat it effortlessly, then why even do it? Mm. I don't know. I just fuck power creep. I want them. I want them to stick. I wish we would go back to the seventy percent. Them old well, days. Day for like a week. They said, "All right, let's revert back to your like before pre year two times." All those units. That get boosted, they like say they actually nerf them for one week. It's a data download. Two hundred percent become a hundred percent. One seventy. You see those, You see SSR with the like five brown stars again. You know what would be interesting for them to do? They have an event to where like Frieza comes in and like breaks <gasps> the Fools. game. Yeah, Frieza comes in and breaks the game, and only at like every every no. unit that is like by passive one thirty or higher is unavailable. But you have to beat some missions, so like everyone collectively no. needs to beat a million levels, or else you're not gonna be able to play. Like every unit will be permanently no, lost. Here's what they should do. Permanently. Here's how they should do it. They should make an April Fool's thing, where um, it's Pilaf makes a wish on the Dragon Balls. But as opposed to wishing for Goku to be young, I wish for powers to be, for powers for the game to be young again, and it literally reverts leads back for one week. It actually nerfs leads. That'd be amazing. Not one week. I feel like that's a little too long. No, one April week. Fools. Two days. They can do that. Dude, do that's you have actually... any idea how many people will not play the game if it's a week? There's no way. I mean, gladly. 
but I know they won't because of TOS. But still, they'll yeah, do something they, like they that. Won't. They just revert it back. And imagine people are sitting there running, and it's all the old, like, 120s. It only got, everything gets dropped back down to 70% or lower. Or hell, not even percents. Back to the flat stat boosts. From but here's here's what they do realistically. It would happen for a single 24 hours. Everything would go back to normal. Everyone would get like a free unit or 20 dragon stones or something. And then there'd be an event that still has that effect though for like another week. Ah, oh, that'd be so much yeah. fun. No, my tablet died. No, no well, there goes Dokkan. That'd be so much fun. Like, or just take a zero off the leads. For one for two days, like two hundred percent are now twenty percent leads. Seventy percent are seven percent leads. Oh my gosh! Leads. That oh, I that's would, horrible. That'd be so much fucking fun. You know this? It, that that would just be horrible. I'd have a fucking heyday because that's back in my day. Heyday's day. <laughs> Hayden's heyday. Hayden's heyday. <laughs> Why do we sound like a kid struggling to speak? Hey, 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 No, yes, it's okay. Hayden. Hayden is the name. Ah, uh, hey, day, hey, right. day. <laughs> All right, virus. You'll, you'll, one. you'll get it. All right. Oh, wait, is it me now? Yeah. All right, number one, right? Yep. Sound more enthusiastic. See how and I even feel about it because I have three tied, and the reason I have these in number one is because of nostalgia of it. And the reason I got to this game a lot more too was because music. I'm one of those people <laughs> that likes the music. The music makes the battle better, and it makes you want to push more. At least in my opinion. So my three are a tie. Actually, no, it's a two. Two events that are tied, and it's the Dokkan events of. Physical Future Gohan and Physical Android 17. This really? Future Gohan used to be one of the tankiest Dokkan events I remember, and it was yeah. kind of hard to beat. In 17, he gave you a new challenge because you couldn't use key super attacks for his tech phase. Oh. And their music in the end, it always made it so awesome, too. Yeah. Memories, memories. Yeah, I bet everybody forgot like, in Physical 17 had that freaking key shield. I mean, it was like back in, um, back when he fought Super 17, he had stuff like that. Key base supers did less to a specific amount of time, and then they did more. I wish they did stuff like that for Dokkan bosses now, but it's all getting normal again. Yep. We need some change. Akatsuki. Give me my April Fool's wish. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Did I honestly am not against that. That would be so fucking fun. Like, all these dope But also, vests. it just means that the game wouldn't, like, so many people would stop playing the game. It's like, one day, two day, sure, three day, four day, annoying, five day, six day, one in the world, seventh day. People would go crazy. Well, here's people would what go crazy for those seven days of token like that. You'd have the newer players. Yeah. You'd have newer players. I was talking to Kevin. After last week's episode, or after the last episode of, like, there's an old one, Original Battlefield. Virus, do you remember what Original Battlefield was like? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I remember. The tower defense? Yeah. I was telling him about it, and he's like, oh, God, that sounds so terrible. And so I want players to experience what we used to experience. Mm-hmm. That's what I want them to go try and take on. Like, they'll be like, say, like, imagine take a 200%. We'll take Int Majin Vegeta. Take 200% Majin Vegeta, buff him down, we'll drop him down to a 20%, so it's only a 40% lead. <laughs> yeah, you heard me, people. A 40% lead between both of them. And they go hop into, like, some of these harder events. Oh, it's, how, how hard could it be? Oh, God. Is this what players used to experience? Yeah. No, not experience. Lived. We survived. <laughs> we didn't live, survived. we survived. God, that'd be so much fun. But yeah, those are my events because they just had such unique qualities of them. They were remembered as something and their music just made it the best. Because I remember Physical Future Gohan's OST is kind of where Dokkan OST started like sounding really good. That's fair. God, I'm getting nostalgic. That guy's had the best OSTs in the game. 
There's top three OSTs, and the tech gods have all three of them. <laughs> all, right. all right, danger. You're number one. Number okay, one. Okay, so I'm on number one. I'm tied here between two events: the Super Battle Road and the Extreme Super Battle Road. I mean, mm. yeah, they count the same thing. I'd say it's both Super Battle Roads. Yeah, they're both Super what? Battle Roads. They're they're tied. Be, they're tied because um, I feel like with this event. Old play, so with new players, it's not as hard anymore. With new players, it's just a good way to get stones, and I guess it's it's good for events when you try to use a hard team. One of my favorite things, um, Mass Ninjen, he what he does is that he'll play and he'll try to like corroded body and mind. He'll go to corroded by body and mind with a heroes team, and so it's like with newer, it's like it's not, it's not so, but like he'll no item with it, and so it's harder. And he can at some points get one shots because like you're able to make the event harder based off building a team. But then also for newer players, not everyone's gonna have these, and so you're gonna be a little bit challenged to trying to beat some. Like I still, I've been playing since before year five. I'm still struggling with a few of the events in Super Battle Road. Like one that I may j am just now gonna probably be able to beat now that I have the GTs is Shadow Dragon Saga. And I was also missing the Vegeta. I now have the SCR Vegeta and the GTs. So now I I can build a full team. Problem is, do, can I have six members that can survive? Like, can off rotation survive enough? You know. Okay. So that's basically even to this point. I've been playing for a long time. I'm not an absolute whale at the mm -hmm. game. You know, I like every event. I do like I do like discounts and stuff. Every other event, and whatnot, and then anniversaries going pretty crazy. But with the Super Battle Roads, I feel like su rolls. Super Battle Roads, you can go in new, new or old. It can be challenging, and you can update to how challenging an event is. And so Super Battle Roads, and especially Extreme, like Extreme, the the uh, Universe Seven came out. I managed to beat it, but it's it it was hard. Like if you did not dodge a certain attack, or you did not have the right unit in place, with my really good team. I was still getting, like, I was still able to get destroyed. So it's like, Extreme Super Battle Road is hard. It's the extreme version. And so that's why it's like, I, I just I think, I think Super Battle Road is one of the best events in the game, period. It also gives good rewards and units. Like, it gives, tick not tickets, it gives stones, it gives units. Now they're giving out films. I'm not sure if they're going to give a film or a unit next time. Not sure. But, like, the units that are in it, the units are still pretty good. They're not top tier, absolutely not, but they're still good. Fair. Fair. <clears throat> All right. Am I too good for my number one? Yep. All right. So, my number one is actually three tied, and you're going to hear the different severity of it all. <clears throat> because these are three... Com like more or less not completely two of them are similar but one of them's way out of south you know what? we're gonna leave that one for the end first one is the god event i love the god event in its entirety <clears throat> it was such the a god the god of destruction event yes okay i love the god event because of how challenging it actually was and also at the same time it wasn't that challenging if you knew what to do I, people out there who've listened to Doken Win, I take on challenging events with stupid teams. Vegeta event with the, with Dragon Ball Saga. What the fuck am I hearing? Not sure. I hear too. Must be virus. I went and fought, um, Cedra with dual Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta leads for like a solid month before I finally beat it. Because the challenge level of it is so high, but at the same time, if you know what to do, it's not that challenging. I love the God event all for that. Because the challenge is there, like Super Battle Road, and then at the same time, it depends on how you build your teams. Because they are um, just such fun uniqueness to them, and how you play them. Like, Hellas. Hellas is, my, is probably, in my opinion, the most unique event in Doken. Boss fight, because she changes typing every single rotation. And I will stand by that. She's one of the best events, well, best boss fights, because of her type rotation, or literal type changing every single rotation. My second one tied for number one, this is another oldie but goldie, is the hero extermination event. 
<laughs> way back when. Both of them. The Super and Extreme versions. Where you had to go run through, let's take the Super one, you have to go take, if you take on the Super class units, you have to take on a team uh, consisting of every type of Extreme, which back in the day, that was hard! That was a challenge, because they didn't have a multitude of things you could do. Nowadays, you can take a free, the Ginyu team, and you'll be fine. Or the Bardock team and the Super, and you'll be fine. But they had it. Here's this one enemy. It's an extreme. It's an, or you, let's say if you take on an AGL enemy. Okay, it's AGL. You can't take tech against this one. Okay, that against had some challenge. So you go through and take it on. And it just add, that was when uniqueness really was added in the game. The hero extermination event. Nowadays, it's just, again, just fodder for people to get dragon stones. Which I dislike, but they can't make it the hardest thing in the game anymore. But I love the hero extermination event. And then... They should add more levels to it. They should. We still need our Dokenfest Hachiok. And then my number one... Over, we're tied for number one is the one that I say is way out. is Strike Events. We talked about it way... Because my number five was Prime Battle. I gotta talk about Strike Events. Because Strike Events were a fun, free-to-play thing. And way back when, they were top tier. They're nowhere near top tier now. Free to play, I can I guarantee you I can go get a banner unit from three years ago that's better than any of our EZA uh, strike event units coming out now. But I will always advocate that strike events were a good event because new units get that that were being added once every two weeks to the game made it fun. You have different varieties of characters. Like King Vegeta. How many King Vegetas do we have in the game? Danger, do you know? Are we counting the heroes, King Vegeta? No, no, just King Vegeta. Base King Vegeta, we have maybe two. One. Do we only have one? I thought we had two. Okay, so just one. Unless there's a world tournament I'm, think I'm forgetting, we only have the one world, one strike event. Kid Vegeta. That, that's what I'm saying. Isn't there a world tournament, King I Vegeta? Don't, I don't think there's a King Vegeta. There's a Kid Vegeta. You know what? That's probably what I'm thinking of. You have Xeno Trunks, the tech one. You have fat go tanks and skinny go tanks. They had units that really didn't have a whole lot of love to them. Well, they add characters that didn't have a whole lot to them and made them at least viable. Like Mecha Frieza, we had, it was the longest time before we got a Mecha Frieza. King Cold, we have what one, two King Colds in the game. Yeah, we have two singular standalone. Huh? Oh, there. We go. I thought you were counting the LR. No, no, we have th two standalone King Cold, which is the Strike event, and then the Tech one. I don't even know if that's an Angel one or not. I think he's an Angel King Cold. Angel. It's Angel. And Chilled! There's just so many of these units. I love Strike events. I want them to make new Strike events. They're not going to. I want them to, to start bringing out these old things, because, what's, um... I give us a... Uh, like Cyborg Tau! There was a Cyborg Tau! Do people remember him? No! Who else could there be? I don't even fucking know. There could be a multitude of things they could do. Um, I'm Dr. Wheelo! So, like him! Just shit like that. I love strike events. They were one of the best things added because of what they could actually bring to the game. And I will stand by that. That's all I that, that I have. So, boys, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. Me. We're going to have Virus on never, once every year. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> hey, just invite me whenever and I'll see you. I'm busy. But, um, I'm, okay, people out there, because I was talking about this in the Discord, I may, uh, there's one of three episodes coming up next week. I am not sure yet. One of which is going to be a year seven collaboration overall big Discord episode where I think everybody's, their ups and downs of that they like about year seven. I'm going to ask every single person individually, have them on here. Huh? Like last year, but last year was a little smaller. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have um, my collaboration one. I'm still trying to get him. We're both busy, so I'm trying to get my other collaboration with... Uh, RG with um, Ray Sean from the R Gap podcast. I'll put a thing up there on uh, the Instagram. If you want to go check out Instagram, is Doken Win Podcast. I'll put a link to his thing, so go check that out. We discussed Dragon Ball Superhero. Danger, you should go listen to it. 
because we discussed superhero. And uh, superhero. And then outside, of, and if not one of those, we're going to talk about our favorite tank tanking units in the game. Whether that's high ass defense or damage reduction or guard stuff like that. So uh, I don't know. I got you guys. Have anything to pl- say before we go? Not plug. Danger always plugs. That man plugs whenever he sees an opportunity. So no plugs for danger. Do you guys have anything to say? <laughs> Uh, I, I may or may not have summons that I did. I took a lot of stones. If you want to go see it, yeah, I know. Danger, <laughs> Danger has a Danger has a YouTube channel. If you go to Danger's YouTube channel, K H Hauser, you can see him summon. No, my YouTube <laughs> is Danger Extreme. No, dude, this is like the first. I'm actually releasing Dokkan content. I'm actually gonna be recording. Or I'm actually probably gonna stream tonight. By the time you're hearing this, it's already long gone. But yeah, I'm I'm excited to do that. But I'm doing Dokkan content now. I'm excited. I've yeah. been having a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. He's doing it. I'm eventually going to start doing stuff again. Like uh, Jimmy Neutron. So good. Nostalgia! But, uh, yeah. Ah, Jimmy, I can't wait for you to start uploading content on the PlayStation 2. Yeah, PlayStation 2! <laughs> I can't do fucking Carl voice. I can do, I can do yes, other voices. Carl Weezer. Carl. What's up? Yeah, Jimmy, your mom's hat. <laughs> this is failing so bad. Yeah, this is slowly falling. You guys, so say bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye.